It was a first for the Tri-Cities as downtown Johnson City was the venue for an event called the Tri-Pride Festival. Ashley Sharp is live in our studio with details on the message behind this event. And Ashley, quite a big turnout today. Yeah, Jordan, hundreds, if not thousands, packed Founders Park downtown this afternoon. A first of its kind festival with a message of love and unity. As people within the LGBTQ community tell me, they feel this is a historic day for our region. A day of celebration for the LGBT community and allies alike. Everyone deserves a chance to just be who they are. We're here to make history. I mean, this is history. As Johnson City was the venue for the Tri-City's first ever Tri-Pride Festival. The community here has always been supportive, but it's never been active. And now we're active. One of the main events, a parade rolling through downtown as people lined the streets. But you may have also noticed a heavy police presence mixed in to that crowd. Keeping people safe both from the ground and above. Our concern was for uh, the people who came to view the parade, for the participants of the parade and the festival, uh, and for anyone who came to exercise their First Amendment rights. Hundreds of loving people here to have a good time and support each other, and about five people here to hate us. We win. Love always wins. Love the emphasis, especially for newlyweds Natalie and Jennifer. This is a perfect way to get to celebrate. A day to set aside the differences. We're not afraid to be out loud and proud. We're united and you know we're, we're standing up for ourselves. And work to build a new chapter. I can guarantee you that probably two thirds of the people here are not LGBT. They've come here to say that, hey, there's a community behind you. It means so much to me knowing that I'm not alone in the world and that there's people like me. There was a small group of protesters who were staged outside the main event this afternoon. Organizers also tell me Tri-Pride wouldn't have been possible without community sponsors like Eastman, City, Walgreens, and many other major employers in the Tri-Cities. And Jordan, that event wrapped up just about an hour ago around 6 o'clock.